please, please, baby, please, please, I'm sorry. Please, please what? Look, I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Get out of my house. This marriage is officially over. Please, Get out. Please, honey, please. Let's wait for God's time. God will answer our prayers. Please. Which God's time? And let this be the last time you call me baby. Since you have refused to give me a baby, don't ever call me that. I don't want this to continue happening. I'm done. Okay? Get out. Please. Okay. Ah! Baby, hey. your breakfast right on time. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Yes, yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. taste from this after working so hard to prepare this for you. Even if it's a little, okay? Just try. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, do you suck at it? Baby, are you sure you don't need to see the doctor? I mean, just yesterday you you were feeling fine. And now suddenly, you're feeling really down. I don't want to see the doctor. I just need to rest, I'll be fine. Have your mind been wandering again? Baby, I've told you to leave this childlessness to God and time. Everything will be all right. Honey, I am not thinking. I'll be fine once I'm rested. Okay. But I really do think you should go see one, okay? I mean, how do you expect me to feel going to work knowing that you're here sick, alone? Okay, it's fine. I'll go. But you... You drop me off and... Leave. I don't want you to need to work. Fair enough. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I mean, I huh? Eh? No, you have to. <laughs> you will have to. Come on, open, open. Open up. The result is the same. You are fine. All you just need is uh, some time to 
relax and calm your nerve. You see, anxiety is not the best friend of any woman who wants to conceive. Doctor, three years of marriage and you speak of time? How much more time do I need to give? Madam, like I said, anxiety is not your best friend at this time. You see, sometimes it will make you feel as if you're pregnant when you're not. So all you just need to do is take it off your mind. Okay? Relax. It will come naturally. That I am very sure. Okay? You'll be fine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, Sister Angela, I feel you are so much worried. But the Lord said you shouldn't be worried. Just go ahead and do the prayers that I've given to you. Your home, I assure you, is secured. Pastor, are you sure? Hmm. This dream keeps happening and I'm scared. There is a woman that will be pregnant for your husband. This woman will almost take your husband away from you. But continue your generous act towards the church and God. Jerry is yours and yours forever. Um, Pastor, who is this woman? Is she already in his life? Mm -hmm. That is not clear to me now. God will surely help you. Just continue with your generous act and the things you do for the church. Mercy will speak for you. And what is yours is yours forever. When? <laughs> you sound so curious. Our time. And God's time is not the same. Go ahead and do the prayers that I have given to you. And our good Lord will save your home and Jerry is yours forever. Okay, Pastor. You said you were going to stop all of this. What's with this sudden emotional outburst? I am tired. I am tired of waiting. I am tired of, of being scared to lose you. I am tired of going home from place to place with little or no answer. I am tired of feeling the way I feel each time I pass the kids' garden. 
<laughs> Knowing I can't enter because I am so alone. Shh. <laughs> it's okay. You need to stop. All right? You need to stop. It's, it's not helping. Okay? It's, it's only making matters worse. All right? <laughs> Tomorrow is our wedding anniversary. Four years. Four, four years. Happy anniversary to us. Serious, brother. This is really serious. I think you should take her to see a doctor for some advice and probably counseling. I believe what she needs right now is someone to get into her head. Preferably a psychologist. I've tried all of that, all to no avail. I'm just confused. I don't know what to do, think. Or say, I've told my wife to just stop troubling herself and just leave everything in the hands of God. You're right, man. And you're really right. You know, sometimes when you take your mind off these things, you might just suddenly fall pregnant. Besides, your marriage is just three years old. There are couples who have to wait for 10 years before they have an issue. All right? And these days, people don't get married for the sake of having children. But in times have changed. IVF has also filled us. All the stress and pain. She's just got stuck in her head. That's the more reason why she's all of a sudden feeling insecure and even more troubled. And honestly, I can't say I know how she's feeling right now. But I believe she's going to be fine. Hmm? Mom, I need you right now. I, I am I, I am losing my mind. I, I, I don't know what to do. The, the, the dream is becoming stronger. It's okay, Angela. It's okay. Calm down. Do not overwork yourself. Your state of mind will always make you have such dreams. <sighs> Mom, you have no idea what I have been through. The places I have gone to, to get answers, but none is working. <sighs> I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me, calm down and wait, calm down and wait. For how long? Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll come over. I'll come over so we can talk face to face, okay? Mom, are you serious? <laughs> of course. I'll come around. You're my only child. I'll keep my promise. Thank you so much, Mom. This means a lot to me. <laughs> You're welcome. See you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Take care, Mom. Bye. Bye. I love you too. Babe, you need to take things easy. Your time and tongue will eventually come. All you need to do is keep praying to God. <laughs> My mates are married with kids. Why? Why am I so unlucky in life? I just want to be a mother, even to an imbecile. I don't mind. God forbid. You won't give birth to an imbecile. God will give you a healthy child, okay? You have suffered enough and look, your miracle is on the way. While you're busy thinking about your mates, that have kids. I also need you to remember that there are some of your mates that doesn't even have a husband. Okay, take a look at me for an example. I don't even have a functional relationship. 
Should I then commit suicide? Ah, Mama! <laughs> Evelyn. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me take your bag inside. Okay, okay. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I am tired. No, no, no. You can be tired. Come on, sit down. Listen, you are stronger than you know, okay? Stop being afraid. Nothing is going to happen to your marriage. Stop. <sighs> Jerry is not going anywhere. Listen, I'm here now. Everything is going to be fine, okay? It's okay. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. Mama. Wow, I wasn't expecting to see you. Wow. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. How are you doing? Well, as you can see, Mama, I'm doing fine. But your daughter doesn't seem to be. Yes, I know that. Jerry. Mm? I want to specially thank you for taking care of her and standing by her during this trying moment. Thank you very much. You see, I gave birth to Angela and I'm sure she will do the same. Just exercise patience, please. Mama, I got married to your daughter because I love her. Okay? Not because I want her to come fill my house with lots of children. <laughs> uh, so, um, definitely I'll be patient with her. <laughs> and uh, as long as the both of us live in this house, my love for her will never change. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, so, how is work now? Well, everything is looking up. A conversation with my mom. What if I never get pregnant? What then? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Oh, come on. I mean, if you had listened to our conversation, then you wouldn't be asking me this question. We can always find a way to adopt one or two God children. God forbid I will never adopt a child. Why? What's there in adopting one? I will never raise a child whose bloodline I am not aware of. Never. It's fine. Okay? It's fine. I mean, whatever decision you take, I'll be here to support you. What matters to me is your happiness. Okay? Why are you against adoption? Hmm? It is the easiest way to calm your condition now. Angela, honestly, you're lucky for the kind of husband you have. His family are quiet now. But how long are they going to continue being quiet? Please, go get yourself a child or IVF. Mama, we have done IVF and it has failed twice. Then adopt. You also believe I can't get pregnant? No. But the rate you're taking things. Angela, you're making things more difficult for yourself. I can never, ever adopt a child. I cannot reduce myself to that level. Are you for real? She turned down the adoption offer. Why? I think it's the best thing right now. 
Because once she has one she's taken care of, she'll be a bit more relaxed and, you know, in no time fall pregnant. Unfortunately, she doesn't see it that way. I mean, all I'm trying to do is to help her. Because I, I, I need her to remove this whole child thing from her head. Because she's gradually losing herself in it. Yeah. I'm beginning to lose the same happy woman that I married. And honestly, I don't know how I can get involved in this case anymore. Angela should at least try to help herself now. Mom's presence is actually good though. Okay. She's beginning to concentrate, you know, open up and also help me fight as well. <laughs> fight. So now you admit you missed the fight, sir. Oh, well, fighting with me means talking to me, and I'm ready to fight with her all <laughs> day long. <laughs> All this now, eh? What's all this? Why can't you just come on top? Honey, this palm will go down rather than up. Oh, we need to make babies. Oh, so we can't make love like real lovers. It has to be a calculated attempt at getting pregnant. Yes. Honey, we can't allow our efforts to be wasted. We have to channel our energy very well. Really? Yes. And you just have to stop this your obsession about having a child, okay? If it comes, fine. If it doesn't, fine as well. All right? We can't continue living our lives and happiness like it's entirely tied to it. Please. Wow. Oh, wow. You men are all the same. Very inconsiderate. You just want what, what you want and that's it. You don't even care how I feel. You don't, you don't care what I'm going through. I am disappointed. I rated you higher, but what stupidity. Finding it difficult to sleep? I haven't tried yet. I just came down to see a movie or something. Are you sure? Because I'm here to see one too. I really think my daughter needs you right now. She's my daughter. And I know her very well. She is dramatic in nature. So I know you're not here to see a movie at will. Your daughter is... It's impossible. We all are, especially when we are getting the exact thing we want. Your daughter is just unbelievable. Welcome, honey.
it's positive. What? What is it? Are you seriously asking me that? Who is she? And you better don't lie to me. Who is she? Who? I don't understand. Who? The silly woman you got pregnant. No wonder you don't care about my feelings anymore. Because, it will, because another woman is carrying your child. You're joking right now, yeah? What exactly are you talking about? Jerry, how long has this been going on? How long have you been cheating on me? Hey, hey. Stop these assumptions of yours, okay? Let me explain. No, 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 no. Jerry, there is nothing to explain. I have failed as a woman. That is why you had to move to another woman to, 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 to give you a child. Where is the love you promised me? So you're just in my life for the babies I can give you. Yeah, we need to stop right now, okay? We need to stop this useless assumptions of yours, all right? You have to stop making this all about you. You and you all the time. I was trying to make love to you the other day. What did you do? You turned it into a baby-making adventure. And now you see an SMS pop up on my phone, reading what? Positive? You now conclude that someone else is pregnant for me. What are you doing? Huh? Are you trying to drive me crazy? You have betrayed me. And I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you for the pain you make me go through. Why do you always have to make it look like nobody loves you? Why do you always have to make it look like you're not being loved? Eh, Angela, why do you always have to make me feel like this whole childless state of ours doesn't bother me? It doesn't bother you. If it does, you wouldn't have gone to another woman to, to, to give you a child. You don't even care about me. You don't care how I feel. I see what's <laughs> going on here. I understand. I see you're in the mood for a fight tonight, right? You know what? I'm not going to give you that chance. Not tonight. <laughs> yes, run! Jerry, run! Run to her! Run to her! No, sis! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jerry, man, listen. This is your wife we're talking about. I know she didn't mean any of the things she said to you. Huh? She's, she's only scared of losing you. I mean, isn't that what we all want as men? You of all people should understand she's frustrated. Am I not a good husband? Huh? Am I not always there for her? Why does she always have to rub my entire efforts on my face? It's painful. It hurts. Knowing that I love her so much. And now, I've impregnated someone that I don't even know. Come on, man. I understand how you feel. Right? I can't watch you drink anymore, man. You, you're already drinking yourself. It's stupid. You know what? Just get up. I'll, I'll drive you home. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You hit the other part. Come on. I'm so drunk. Thank you. I will take him inside. Don't worry, Baba. 
Is it? Thank you very much, well. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Jerry! He isn't back. So Jerry went to spend the night at her place. I'm sure they're celebrating the good news. Jerry at least expected this from you. You have broken my trust. How is she? Is the baby kicking? Good morning to you, baby. Don't touch me! And don't you ever call me baby. You have lost the right to call me that. Don't you think it's too early to start a fight? And I won't allow you to drag me into this drama. <laughs> you can afford to tell me that. I am now filled with drama. I'm full of drama, right? and someone else is filled with a growing child. Just stop. It's enough, okay? Don't you have limits to this baseless assumption of yours? The truth is now assumptions. Ah, Jerry, my God will judge you. My God will judge you and pay you back in your own coin. You see this thing that you're doing to me? You were looking for a reason to be with her, right? Just small arguments, just little arguments. You ran to her. Jerry Chukodubem, my God will pay you back. My God will judge you, don't worry. This house will be too hot for you. This house will be too hot for us. <laughs> Jerry, you see this pain that you're making me go through? You will go through worse. My God will judge you. My God will pay you back in your own coin. You have not seen anything, no. You have not seen anything. No problem. Jerry! Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Jerry. I hope you had a good night rest. Ah. Uh, uh. Yes, Mama. Good. Mama, I have, I have been wondering what happened last night. I mean, how I ended up in the guest room. You were lamenting over your wife. So I felt you needed the space. Oh, uh, yes, I, I did. I just don't uh, remember undressing. Oh, alcohol is indeed a bastard. I can't really remember anything, you know? Mama, I am 
really sorry for inconveniencing you last night and making you to leave your room for me. How is Angela? I hope she's fine too. Yeah, she is. Where is Jerry? Is he not eating with us? Mom is your son-in-law. I believe you have the right to ask him that. Ask me what? Oh, you're here. I was wondering if you're not hungry after all that happened last night. What? You took it right out of my mouth. What happened last night? Uh, I think Mama is talking about how I left the house angrily. Yes. And returned home drunk and unable to stand on your two feet. Oh, wait, wait. You mean Jerry came home last night? Yes. Let me tell you. Oh, what is going on here? You came home last night? Then where did you sleep? In my room. What? Yes. You, you mean he... Jerry! Jerry, come back here! Uh, Jerry, answer Angela. me! Mom! Leave the young man. He needs to answer me, else he'll keep painting me bad in front of you. You are pushing him too hard, Angela. Jerry, come back here! Yeah. Angela! Jerry. Jerry, answer me! Jerry, I am talking to you. Jerry! Jerry, you need to give me answers. How did you end up in my mother's bedroom last night? I was drunk. I don't even remember anything that happened. Really? Yes. And as the advanced fool that you think I am, you want me to accept that? I don't understand. What, what are you insinuating? That I deliberately went to her room? Are you serious right yes, now? Yes! I am serious! Oh! <laughs> you think I don't know your plan? You want to paint me black in front of my mother so that when the news of you impregnating another girl comes out, everyone will support you and then look at me as the bad person. Wow. Right? Wow. You know what? There is really no need reasoning with you. Yes, ever since I have fallen in your eyes and you can afford to talk to me anyhow you like. That is not the answer to my question. Answer me. Since your mom was a sober one, and I think she should be in the right position to give you the details of what exactly that you need to hear. All right? Because me, I'm also interested in knowing what happened that night. Hello? Hello, who is this? You called me and you're asking me who is this. You sent me a text. And in your text, you said positive. What is positive? Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. The message wasn't for you. It was a mistake. I actually want to send it to someone and I mistakenly sent it to your phone. It's the wrong number, I'm so sorry. You're lucky I respect women. Because what I would have said to you right now, you wouldn't forget in a hurry. I'm sorry. The stupid mistake of a text that you sent to my phone is causing a lot of issue in my marriage right now. But I said I'm sorry, sir. What's going on? I could hear your voice from outside. I mean, can you believe the stupid text message causing rancor in my house right now came from a nurse who wanted to send a message to her patient and mistakenly sent it to me? You don't say. And now, Angela is carrying it on her head, like someone is actually pregnant for me. You said this life? Of all the phones in the world to send such a text to, it is yours with a very fragile relationship. Anyways, have you tried to explain to Angela? Angela is not giving me any room for any explanation. She's already drawn up conclusions, okay? No matter what I say right now, it doesn't count to her. I just left it at that. And that is not even the icing on the cake. Is it icing on the cake? What do you mean? What happened? Angela, I'll be leaving in two days' time. Like you know, 
I've stayed for a while and your, your health has improved. So I have to return to my life and business. But before I leave, I have something to say to you. Okay. My dear, men are not as patient as a woman in toileting and taking pains. You're pushing your husband too hard. Please stop. Because there's a limit to what he can take. Mama, my husband is seeing another woman. In your head? You've not caught him yet. Listen, Angela, this young man is trying to be supportive. Don't make him feel like a fool. Do you think he doesn't feel the same pain too? He does, but he's only trying to hide his own pain, not to make, put you under pressure. Instead of you to appreciate him, you're busy giving him trouble the more. What is wrong with you? Mama, you don't know men. I don't know men? Yes. So you know men more than I do? Listen, Angela. I raised you single-handedly. With no single support from anyone when your father got me pregnant and denied it. Men, we are coming, but on the account that will leave you behind. But I said no. You wear and steal my ride and die. Listen, Angela, I know real men when I see them. And Jerry is nothing short of a real man. Please do everything you can to keep him. Do anything in your powers to keep your home. Did you hear me? How could you hand me over to her? Huh? I feel really violated. How do I even put myself up to telling my wife that I woke up knowing that my own mother-in-law undressed me? I, I, I mean, thinking about it right now, I feel really disgusted. Look, I, I, I'm sorry, man, but I wasn't even supposed to know she was going to take you to her room. Hey, I hope nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. Just that I, I, I don't remember, like I, I don't even know if anything happened really. You know, whenever I get drunk, things happen, stupid things. I, well, I, know, I know Angela would be pretty enraged right now. That's an understatement. Angela is at her boiling point right now. I mean, I'm fighting with my wife and I end up in my mother-in-law's bedroom. Who the hell does that? <laughs> you, of course. Who else would do that? <laughs> Why are you laughing? What would you have me do? Cry? I mean, they warn you. Don't drink. No, they drink. No, they drink. You don't agree here. Now you end up in your mother-in-law's bedroom and you want me to do what? Cry? Come on now. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick of that. Baby, I'm, th I'm tired of everything. I'm 
tired of all the arguments. I just want my wife back. I want us to start over again. Devoid of all these dramas. Just the two of us. Please. So, um, where do we start from? So I said, let me come and stay with you guys a little while. It's not a problem. Of course not, Mama. At least now that you're here, you're very much welcome. Oh, thank you. I missed you. Yes, me too. Well, let me tell you. Yeah. It's okay. No, don't worry. I'll get, I'll get it. Okay. No, go ahead, go ahead. You said you were carrying okay. now. It's my husband. I see you're already trying to settle in. Oh, yes. I hope there is food in this house. Because <laughs> right now, I am very hungry. Like, I can eat a cow. <laughs> Mama, exactly why I'm here. Lunch is ready. Oh. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah. Tells me I am going to do justice to. Uh, moving forward, you have to be careful not to allow her undergo any form of stress, considering her condition and her age. What do you mean by her condition? Is there any ailment of hers that we're not aware of? Um, aside the uh, high blood pressure that is obvious, I'm also talking about her pregnancy. Pregnancy? pregnancy? Yes, uh, she's three months gone. What? I am so ashamed of my mom. I mean, how can she be pregnant at this age? How irresponsible can she be? Babe, you need to calm down, all right? Let's just give her some time to rest. I'm sure she will give us all the answers we need from the questions, all right? Look, your mother has spent some part of her life all by herself. I really don't see anything wrong in trying to live a life with someone else. Besides, she's not up to 50. At this age, I am not so hearing this. So at this age, I will have a younger one that is old enough to, to be my child? God forbid! 
My mother is not going to have that child in this house. As soon as she's strong enough, she will abort it. So tell us, Mom, how you disgracefully opened your legs for another man to enter. And who is the disgusting man that is attracted to you at this age? Shut up! Angela said, shut up your mouth. This is your mother you're talking to. I mean, nobody expected it to happen, but it's happened already. And nobody can change it. That doesn't give you the right to disrespect her. I'm sure she needs, or she equally has a reason for allowing whatever happened to happen. What is wrong with you? Wait, you expect me to respect this whore? Did you just call your mother that? Do I need to think twice before giving her a piece of my mind? No wonder my dad denied me even before meeting me. You are a shame, a disgrace to motherhood. Instead of you to think of how to raise your grandchildren, you want to raise a child. Ha! Huh? I have been indeed cursed by you. Angela, shut up! Shut that thing you call mouth. What is wrong with you? This woman here is your mother. She gave birth to you. Come on, show some respect. A hawk can never enough. And my mother, enough. I am sure everyone has something to say. Yes, I know. Being pregnant at this age looks bad. I am not ashamed of it, even a bit. Because the child in my womb is a seed of love. Born out of love for the sake of love. Yes, Angela, I am pregnant again. And I'm going to give this child life. You know why? Because I'm a mother. Mothers are life givers. And I will give this child life. What did you say? Yes, I'm not done yet. You want to know the disgusting man that got me pregnant? Well, there's only one man between us. And that is Jerry. Yes. The child going in my womb is yours. Your first child. Nothing but a blatant liar. I, I don't remember doing anything with you. Are you denying it or you forgot? Well, let me educate you. Please give me a baby, even if it's a small one now. Yeah? I know I'm strong, I appear strong, but I'm really not strong. Advantage. You want me to remind you what you were saying while I rocked you? Just you shut that thing you call out before I throw caution to the wind and tell you something that you forever regret. I'm not looking at you like. with your filthy hands. 
Baby, I, I understand that you're angry, okay? And, and your pain is justifiable. I, I don't remember anything that happened that night, okay? She took advantage of me. My mother is pregnant with your child. No, I can't deal with this. I, I cannot handle this. This is, this, this, this is so impossible. This, this is not possible. It's not, don't, don't touch me. Don't you, don't you, don't you touch me. <laughs> Look here, if not for the fact that you're my mother-in-law, I would have beaten you to a pulp. As a matter of fact, I would have arrested you for rape. That thing that you call, whatever you want to call it, that you have in your womb, it's not my child, okay? And I will never accept responsibility for it. Jerry, I'm not begging you to do so. Thank God there is technology. We do not have to wait for the child to be born before we conduct a paternity test. Jerry, I challenge you. Let's go for a DNA test. If the child isn't yours, I will take my leave and never return. But if the baby is yours, you will take full responsibility. Do we have a deal? Is it really? You've been gulping down on this. The same alcohol that put you in this mess. <laughs> you go some go house, go top up. Is everything a joke to you? It's not a joke. What has happened has happened. <laughs> we can't lose sleep on that account. I never believed that. A day would come when I am pregnant. It would come with so much pain. She's, she's finished my marriage. She's ruined everything. My man, top up, top up. Got it enough. Can we? We can talk when the DNA result is out. Until then, please avoid me.
behind you. I have always known you to be a wise girl. And I expect you to understand that I'm doing this to save your marriage. I don't know the sin I committed to be cursed by you. But whatever it is, Lord, this punishment is too harsh for me. The pain I see in your eyes hurts. But I have to do what I have to do. I'm unable to understand the kind of pain you're going through now. But I pray the result says otherwise. I don't think I can handle this kind of pain. I'm so sorry, my dear friend. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Please stop crying. You'll be fine, okay? Just put yourself together. Everything will be fine, okay? Please stop crying. Please stop crying. Oh, you're back. Welcome. Thank you. Just like that. What? Jerry, when a man returns from work to the pregnant woman, he comes to the woman, feel the baby, see one or two words to the baby. It is called father and child bonding. Please, come and say hello to your baby. Come on. Don't worry. Very soon you will carry this baby in your arms and be glad that this day happened. Um, well, I wouldn't say if it is a, a good news or a bad one. But 99% the child is yours. Take it out. What? You heard me, doctor. Take the baby out. I bought the damn thing. This is not your decision to take, Angela. It's left for me and the father to decide. You wanted us to talk, right? The result is out. Let's get talking. Not here. Jerry, I will not talk after now. What is it going to be? Come on. It's, it's not the fault of the child. Meaning? I can't afford to approve the abortion of my only possible child. Angela! Baby, please. Don't go. I need you now more than ever. Please, don't go. You'll be alright. I have been a fool. And I refuse to be a fool anymore. I fail to understand that a father will always choose his child over his wife. And as for my mother, you can be with her. I refuse to share the same space. Angela, I have always known you to be sensible. Calm down. We can work something out. Please, my daughter, you do not have to leave this place. This is your home. Elizabeth, I have been trying so hard not to see you differently for what you have done today, but for destroying my home. You will never see happiness in your life. 
your life will be cut short. Grief will be all that you eat and drink. And for that child in your womb, it will be your doom. Stop. Stop being emotional. Be practical. I am a practical woman. And that is why I succeed in everything I have my heart to. Calm down, my child. Please calm down. You know, you may have succeeded in destroying my home. But I promise you, you will never see any reason to smile again. Angela. Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me. Try it. Stay. Please. Please. Angela, listen to me. Angela, regardless of what happened, you shouldn't have left. That is your matrimonial home. You are the woman of the house. One minute in that house, I would have committed suicide. So what are your plans now? <laughs> Am I welcomed here? Of course. You can stay as long as you want to. Just relax, think things through, and decide on what next you want to do. But while at it, I need you to remember, Jerry didn't do this intentionally. Your mom did all of this. <laughs> my mom used to be my everything. She used to be my best friend. That I practically tell her everything. But now I cannot wrap my head around it. I, I am so confused. I don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. And where are you going to? I'm going out. To where? It's none of your business. Whatever. Please, I need a leg massage. My legs feel numb. You see? You heard me. I need leg massage. Don't you think you're taking this whole pregnancy thing seriously? <laughs> like, look, look, if you expect me to put up with this shit, this drama of yours, I won't, okay? I'm not ready to start babysitting you. I'm sure this is not the first time you're falling pregnant. So you should know what to do to make yourself comfortable.
Oh yes. Oh, Evelyn. What brings you here at this time of the night? Mama, good evening. Good evening, my dear. Please come in, come in. Mama. Mama, why are you doing this to your only child? How? What am I doing? Helping her give her husband a child? Mama, it's not your call to make. And it's not for you to act on. Yes, they are facing a challenge, but you're not supposed to force a solution on them. Well, I cannot explain myself to you, Evelyn, because I owe you no explanation. Mama, what you're doing is considered as an abomination. Hmm. Well, the society will see it that way. But I will turn it differently. Angela that loves her mom so much now considers her as a cause. Doesn't that hurt you? Well, time will tell. Jerry, I cannot have anything to do with you. I cannot share my husband with my mother. She's having your child, the very one I cannot have. So please, just stop disturbing me. Baby, you're my wife. You're the woman I love. It's like you don't get it. Jerry, you cannot have the best of both worlds. You do not want to abort the child, yet you want to be with me. How possible is that? Babe, come on. We can always work this out. We always do, right? Okay, please. It's not the fault of the baby. So why punish him or her? It's fine. It's my fault. Okay? Let me face the punishment. Baby, come on. Don't do this to me. Please. Don't do this to Jerry, me. Jerry, as long as the child leaves, we are done. Angela. No, no, no. my marriage I will never forgive you No, I did not hide anything. Where did you hide it? Nothing. Bring it out. I didn't hide anything. Okay, hold on. Continue. Uh, but why are you having just three? You want to cut some? No, like how? Where did you hide it? Bring it out. Bring it. Bring it out. 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 Oh, God. 
What is it? The baby. The baby is done. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? What do, we do? Hospital. Hospital. Idiot. Yes, yes. The hospital. Wait. Doctor, what's, what's going on? I'm sorry, there is a complication. H how do you mean? Right now, she has lost a lot of blood and she's losing strength by the minute. Also, the baby is not well situated. Saving the both of them will be a tough one. Excuse me. But. Doctor, what's going on? Please, please, I, I really need you to do whatever you can within your powers to save her. Come, okay? I'll do my best. 
I'll do my best. What happens? The baby is more important than I am now. Save the child. Please. Why did you do it? Do what? You want the baby more than me. Why did you choose Elizabeth over the child? I didn't place the child over you, okay? The baby dying with no fault of his would be cruel. I mean, I love you, okay? And nothing will ever change. Just that sometimes we tend to reason. wants the baby who leaves or who dies. Besides, we can choose our husbands, wives, the child to keep and the one to abort, friends and even enemies. But we cannot choose our parents. Can we? Regardless of how pained I feel, she is still my mother. That fact. I cannot erase. Did you ever miss me? Yes. Me too. I missed you every damn time. I miss you too. <sighs> Doctor, Doctor, how is she? How is she doing? Your mom is um, fine. And uh, the baby too. Uh, but... Yes, um, they were both at risk. And we were faced with a dilemma. But thank God the both of them are fine. Wow. That, that's some great news, Doc. Yeah, thank God. Mm -hmm. um, what's the gender? Oh, it's a boy. She has asked to see you. Me? No, um, Angela. You came. Um, congratulations. Thank you. I know I'm the last person you would like to say. Let alone have a conversation with. I am. I am not a good person. Neither am I a good mother. I have wronged you. But I do not regret it. If I have the chance, 
how do you take it? My intentions are not bad. But my way is wrong. I wanted to give this baby to you and Jerry. Nothing more. The way I went about it is wrong. Please. I am sorry. Sleeping with your husband is even the worst. I have wronged you. And I'm truly sorry. Angela. Jerry is a good man. He is nothing to you but a faithful husband. I am not the right person to be your mother. I guess God overrated me. Please. Rest now. You need it. There will be enough time to have rest. But first, come on, carry the baby. Why? He's as handsome as the father. Angela, please take care of him. Give him the love that I lack. Teach him the values that I lack. Please, please my child. Please, don't let him feel unloved. Mama, what are you saying? Forgive me. Forgive me, my child. Mama? 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 Doctor! Mama? Mama, 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 please, please, please don't do this to me, please, doctor, please, I don't know what is wrong with her.
Life is indeed strange. Sometimes the best of things happen to us in the weirdest ways. But at the end, if they are meant to affect our life positively, they eventually will. My mother was always the best. What she did, I am still trying to wrap my head around. But in all, she was just being a mother, the way she understands. My son, or should I say, my half-brother, I can't love you less. I can't make you go through the pain I went through. In all, family is everything. If the anger of a brother and sister is not expected to get into the bones, that of a mother and daughter should not reside in the heart. She wasn't perfect. But hey, who is? <laughs>